Unicorns are like snowflakes, beautiful and unique, and turning your horse into a unicorn can take quite a bit of time and creativity on your part, but don't panic. Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and in this video I will share tips and tricks for turning your ordinary horse into the glorious unicorn he was clearly meant to be. There are industry standards for how to turn your horse out for the show ring, or what tack to use for each specific discipline. But there really aren't any industry standards on how to turn your horse into a unicorn. The two ways to really go about it are one, make your own horn, or two, purchase one. First, we're gonna go over making one. If you're gonna make one, here are some suggestions. One kind of unicorn horn is a crocheted ear bonnet. If you have a good pattern for an ear bonnet, or if you already have an ear bonnet that you'd like to turn into a unicorn horn, you can make a plush horn from fabric, stuff it with polyester fiber fill, and sew that directly onto the ear bonnet. This type of horn is extremely safe. Nobody's going to poke their eye out on your soft little plushy horn on your crocheted ear bonnet. But you are limited to the size of the horn. The bigger the horn, the floppier it's going to be, and nobody wants to see that. You can also make a unicorn horn out of a Christmas ornament. You know, one of the spirally, pointy kinds. I know it's May and you can't find Christmas ornaments in stores yet, but y'all just wait a couple weeks and it will be June and Christmas displays will be appearing in stores throughout the country. Using something like a Christmas ornament can be very beautiful and look absolutely realistic, but keep in mind that Christmas ornaments can be breakable, and if they're not breakable, then they're probably hard and can pose a safety hazard to the human handler of the unicorn. So use caution if you make this type. Another way to make a unicorn horn for your horse is using a 3D printer. I've never done this one before. I mean, obviously not all of us have access to this kind of technology. But you'd be surprised where you can find 3D printers for public use. You might try your local library. If they don't have one there, they may know where you can find one in town. Also check online and see if your town has a public makerspace for local artists. I have my own method for making unicorn horns that I developed myself. It's my own process. My horns are a sculpted foam core coated in cream plastic and painted. I have done several live streams detailing the process of construction, so if you would like to see what that is all about, I will link a playlist somewhere up here so that you can check it out yourself. Now, you may be listening to all these suggestions and thinking, okay, lady, that sounds a little aggressive. There's no way I'm going through all that. I just want someone to throw my money at and then wait for it to show up on my doorstep in the mail like a civilized human being, and that is fine. There's no shame in purchasing a pre-made unicorn horn. Etsy's gonna be your best friend here. Remember the ear bonnet with the horn? If you were in love with that style but you do not know how to crochet, do not panic. There are Etsy shops that sell that style of unicorn horn. So just find a color and style that you like and place your order. You can also find more realistic looking horns on Etsy. My favorite shop is the Unicorn Maker. I just love the way his designs look. Now, if you don't have an Etsy budget and you're not very crafty, here is one last low budget, low skill hack for you. <laughs> you can find unicorn headbands at cheapo stores like Dollar Tree or Walmart. Now they're made for people heads, but it's quite easy to convert them to fit your horse. You can either just take the headband itself and just stick it right on your horse's forehead, or you can remove the horn and then attach it to your horse's brow band or forelock some other way. Thank you for watching my video today. If you are thinking of turning your horse into a unicorn, what is your plan? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like more videos for extra equestrians, subscribe to the channel. The little uh, icon, I think it's down here. Um, there's like a little icon that you can click on to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And then there's more videos over here for you to click and watch. I made a bunch of them. There's some playlists. There's some stuff YouTube thinks you'd like. So you can just click on those and get started.